On the way up the Col de la Colmen, the riders will pass over the Vesubi River. And the peloton uses this valley as a way to get up into the mountains, but sediments and rivers use it as a way to get out. In 2020, Storm Alex hit. In less than 12 hours, this valley saw more than a year's worth of rain, and all of that water was forced into this channel. The river rose up 10 meters and grew 75 meters across. It filled the valley, causing banks like these to collapse back into the river, arming it with even more material and debris. But check out the boulders. Some of them are the size of small cars. When a river is fast and deep enough, it can carry a really heavy load. And that turns those stones and boulders into wrecking balls. St. Martin Vesubi really got hit hard. Over a thousand rescue workers came to help as houses, bridges, and roads were destroyed, cutting off towns and communication. Several people lost their lives in the space of a weekend. And you can still see evidence of the destruction along the course today. Some locals say the fight to recover from Storm Alex has brought communities closer together. Now, no one can stop a storm, but scientists can still try to limit the damage they do. Meteorologists can predict severe weather, hydrologists understand how a river behaves, and engineers can reinforce the channel walls. Like here, they've used the river's own deposits. The biggest challenge in areas like these is to give the river enough space and to keep everyone safe. And on days like today, leave a little room for the peloton to pass through. We really hope that you're enjoying our clips of the geology of the Tour de France and other cycling races, and we love bringing it to you. And there's plenty where that came from, but we can't do it without your financial support. So click on the link, consider a donation, and we hope to see you next year.